Hey everybody, I recorded this for you once, but I tried it in 8K and it didn't come out right. I guess I got to get used to how to use the 8K. But what we got here, we got our new gazelle tent for the channel. And uh, I had video of me setting it up. It took about five minutes the first time I ever set up. I was in no race. What you should actually do to properly set it up is stake the corners out first. Make sure you leave the center uh, hub down. Before, get your rain fly on there before you put the hub up. If you don't, this will not. This will be off center. If you try to put the hub up and then put the and then hook the rain fly on, what I'm going to do. I've got it staked out. I've got it staked on four corners. I've got the hubs tied out on four sides. I'm going to leave it up a week. And I do want to tell you, Gazelle didn't send me any tent stakes, so I was just in contact with them. I hope the wind's not affecting it too bad. Um, it does have two doors, six windows. It's very, very spacious inside. It came with a nice bag, very nice bag. It seems to be pretty heavy duty and it's padded on one end it's got carry handle on each end and a shoulder strap now this isn't a tent that you want to go backpacking with this is a tent that you car camp or in my case that you jeep camp with you drive I, I drive right up to my campsite in my jeep it weighs 30 pounds but it, like I say it took me about I was in no race it took me about five minutes to set it up from the time I opened the bag until I was done. It did come in a nice box. It was a box inside of a box. It's got a very nice rain fly here. Very, this feels like it's very heavy duty. It's got nice zippers. Very nice heavy duty zippers. If you notice this flap right here, that goes over top of the zipper, that's going to stop your rain from getting in. We'll go inside now and we'll show you how spacious it is inside. Again, it's got a floor that can be detached. It's Velcroed all the way around. Try not to go too fast here. I will never take that Velcro loose if I want to clean my floor. I've got a handheld shark. I'll just bring my handheld shark in here and sweep it out. And I'll damp mop it if I ever need to. This feels like a heavy duty floor. A lot better than my other tent. My other tent is called a four person tent. This is called a four person tent. And I have at least, I would say a third more room in this four person tent. It's got four of these, it's got one on each hub. Again, it's got six windows. Nice zippers, nice working zippers. One hand, they don't get caught in the fabric. And these zippers here, it looks like it's got a little fly over top of the zipper on the outside to keep the rain from coming in. It's got two doors as I stated if you have two to three people sleeping in here you're not going to be climbing over each other if you want to get out that side and somebody's sleeping over there you just climb out this side the top is open without that rain fly on there I would have all kinds of airflow in here I got another bag up here to keep I would probably put my glasses or something in there um, to to uh, keep them from being damaged right here is where you pull the hub down I like the nice picture of the gazelle on the tent you know what I just stepped on something right there that may be my stakes and if so I'll have to recontact Gazelle and uh, tell them that they did send the stakes and that is my fault
if a company does business the way they're supposed to, then I need to apologize. But it's very, very spacious inside. We're going to leave it set up for a week. We're supposed to have a couple rains and maybe uh, one storm in that period of time. So I will let you know. I'll close it all up before I go in and keep it closed. And we'll let you know if we get any moisture in here. And I don't see any bad stitches right now. I did see one piece of stitching hanging. Looky right there. It feels like a pinhole and it feels like it's been covered. So if it's been covered, I don't have any complaint. Very, very spacious inside. I would say <clears throat> I can put three, three uh, twin mattresses in here. I can put a queen with plenty of room for some gear. When I go, it's usually just me. So, um, at the most, one other person. Plenty of room for two people. My other tent... Again, it's called a four-person, but there's enough room for maybe one adult and one child. So, yeah, so far I like it. And I'm going to see if I can find my stakes underneath, and I'll let you know here in just a few seconds. Well, that's what I found under the tent. They are the stakes, so I need to get a hold of Gazelle again and tell them I did get my stakes. Okay, I'm going to shut her all up. We'll throw the bag inside, the stakes inside. I did have some heavy duty stakes I staked it down with. That'll be the ones I use anyway. But we'll shut her up, go through a couple rains, maybe a storm, and we'll let you know how she does here in about a week. And all six window zippers worked very nice. Here I have it all closed up on the outside. And it's got, like I say, it's got a flap here to cover the zipper and a flap down here. And the way this is designed, the rain should run off pretty good, should it rain. There was one stitch right here that I saw loose so I will just clip that off so it don't get any bigger I did move the tent it was under a tree and I didn't want a tree to come down on top of the new T4 here's another stitch that's a little loose No complaints though, it's brand new. I got my stakes. This door on this side, you can see the zipper's completely covered here. And there's about an inch showing on the other side. So it could just be the way I have the tent set up. Um, I did move it while it was set up so that could have something to do with it. Again, I don't know whether I told you, I told on the first video I had to trash that this comes down in the center and if you don't attach this before you push your hub up then more likely this could be off center because the first time I set it up I went ahead and put the rain fly on pushed the hub up in the center and when I came out, this was setting over about two inches, and it was at an angle. 
So I thought, well, I'm going to try something. So I unhooked them. I put the hub down, hooked them back up. And when I pushed the hub back up in the center, they were perfectly center. So we'll let her set there, try to get a couple good reins on it. And uh, we'll see how she does. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Smash that bell.